Hello and welcome to another video editing simplified tutorial. Today we're going to talk about audio editing in our videos. Right down to the nitty gritty. In fact, you can take out even uh, specific words, phrases, even syllables and uh, you can do it quite easily if you know how to do it. You know, one of the things when you're doing a tutorial or any kind of presentation, guess what? You're probably going to mispronounce a word or stammer. Uh, I do that from time to time. I may do it in this tutorial. But uh, you can get rid of all that stuff and still keep, keep your take and, uh, and not have to uh, redo your video all over again. So let's see how we do that. First of all, I'm going to play a little flub here. Okay, as you can hear, I messed that up. So uh, we're going to have to fix that. Now, one thing I've learned to do, when I mess up a line or mess up a word, I will leave a 10-second gap here. And that tells me later on when I look on my uh, timeline that, hey, there's a mistake here and I'm going to have to fix it. So I know that this whole phrase here is going to have to be taken out. So I position my marker right over that spot between this phrase. And I press the S key and that splits that. And then I position it over here to get rid of that gap here. Press the S key again, and then I select that. And we can right click and delete it. It's gone. Now let's see if it uh, sounds natural. And it sounds a lot better, so I fixed that problem. Um, now you can do that uh, even with specific words. Let's see if we can find another example here. Okay, I don't want that, so let's get rid of that. We already have a split here. We can make a split here, position the marker there, press the S key, get rid of it by right clicking and delete. Now let's see what we've got. Okay, that sounds better. Now, one thing to know when you do these kind of little edits, it does affect your video track. It's actually taking snippets out of the video track. And so you're going to get a little unnatural jump there. On many of the things like tutorials and especially Camtasia, um, webcasts, things of that nature, it's not going to look that bad. You're probably not going to notice it. But what happens if you have a live action shot like this Warren Beatty? Actually, it's uh, not Warren Beatty. It's another Beatty guy back in the 30s that was a uh, lion tamer. But uh, let's listen to one of these and see what it sounds like. Okay, let's say I don't want this particular uh, phrase in there. Well, if I cut that out, there would be an unnatural gap, and you would tell that there was an edit there. So how do we fix that? Well, there's another way of doing it. Let's go over to the track here and right-click on it and go up to Insert, Remove Envelope, and do a volume. And that's going to draw, you see that blue line right here? That's the volume level. We can raise it up and down by left-clicking and holding down. But if we want to get rid of individual phrases, how do we do that? Well, up here on the blue line, we simply double-click on it. And you see there's a little square that was made. And we double-click on it again. And now we can left-click and pull it all the way down. You see that? Let's make a nice 90-degree angle here. And now if we do the same thing over here, double-click, double-click again, make another square. Then we can pull that up in a 90 degree angle. So what it's telling it to do is that right when it gets here the volume drops down to zero until we get past this phrase and then it goes up again. Now let's see what it, that sounds like. Okay there's a tiny bit of audio left. Let's pull that all, okay, all the way down so there's nothing at all. Let's listen again. Okay, and it goes all the way down to nothing. Now, if you don't have anything in the background, that might sound a little unnatural to have no volume all of a sudden, but uh, it's certainly a lot better than a flub. And you can work around it. If there's uh, music in the background, you're not going to notice it too much. There's a couple ways that you can really fine-tune your audio. Now, if you don't want to do that, there is a third way of doing it. You can right-click on this, and if you have an audio editor installed, and uh, listed in your Vegas Movie Studio software here, you can open an audio editor. And uh, most of these Movie Studio um, products have uh, SoundForge in it. Uh, SoundForge is an audio editing software program, a very good one. And here's the phrase here that I didn't want in there. If I left click 
and drag and highlight that little clip. I don't want to cut it out of there because it would make an unnatural gap in the video, but I can go up here to process and do mute and that takes that audio right away still maintaining the timeline so that the video will be fine so now we'll go back to it like that let's do a save here okay we've saved it and so if we pull these handles back up we'll see if we have accomplished what we want to do let's try it again okay and that's gone and it starts again the offending phrase is removed. Uh, I bet you there was a lot of offending phrases back in the 1930s. Um, anyway, that's a couple ways that you can fix these audio problems. Actually, three ways. It's a great way to do it, and uh, it can save your bacon, keep you from having to do a long, lengthy retake.